What's up, Honda fans? I'm Honda Laura, and today we are doing a review on the 2023 Honda Odyssey. So let's get it going. As always, I'd like to say thank you to Herb Chambers, Honda of Seekonk, for letting us take out the Odyssey today. So we have the 2023 Honda Odyssey. It looks super cool on the outside. We have the Elite trim level, and it's in the Sonic Gray Pearl. So let's start off with the exterior features. Starting off with the front end, I think this Odyssey just looks so cool in the Sonic color. So the first thing you see is the lights, LEDs everywhere, LED headlights, LED daytime running lights, and the LED fog lights. I love how they have that glossy black now that they moved to it. They just made that like cool sport vibe now into the Odyssey, which it definitely does not look like a mom car. Moving down along the side, 19 inch alloy wheels. Now, the mirrors on the Honda Odyssey in the Elite trim level, they are power heated, turn signal indicator, but they are also power folding. They, and they have my favorite thing, which is auto dimming. I love that. So when somebody shines bright at you, it like dims down. It's the coolest thing. It's one of my favorite features. The door handles are awesome as well. They have the smart entry system with the auto walk away. So all you have to do is have your key fob with you. It automatically walks as you get a certain, it locks as you get a certain distance away. And it has remote engine start. Who doesn't love that? Moonroof also power sliding doors on this one and a capless fuel filler. Moving down along the backside, you see more of that really cool black uh, accents, the glossy black. I think it really sets it off, uh, especially in the awesome color. You see the elite badging. It has parking sensors on the front and the back. Also LED taillights to make it a little bit more cool. And then it also has the hands-free tailgate. Just kick underneath and it lifts right up. Now let's take a look under the hood. Under the hood of the 2023 Honda Odyssey Elite is a 3.5 liter V6 IV Tech engine, which produces 280 horsepower. It is paired with a 10 speed automatic transmission and altogether they yield 19 city, 28 highway and a combined of 22 miles per gallon. They definitely added a couple little touches to make the Odyssey look super cool for 23. Now let's take a look at the interior. I was pleasantly surprised stepping behind the wheel of this Honda Odyssey. There are so many, not just tech features, but also luxury features that are uh, make it just so cozy in here. The first thing I noticed was that they have this off color piping on their leather seat. It looks so expensive and luxurious. I love it. They also have some mood lighting with some really cool uh, lights underneath the dash that really uh, set it off. And then they have a lot of um, different accent colors throughout. The steering wheel is leather wrapped and it's heated and it's super comfortable. The seats and the positioning of the steering wheel. It's awesome. It's definitely, definitely top of the line. So the Gauge cluster is large, bright. It has so many different features. Everything you need is right there. You can use your steering wheel controls to control everything. So you barely even need to take your hands away from the wheel when you're driving. Keeps it super safe. You have your memory seating and the seating is also heated and ventilated. Luxury, pure luxury. The Display audio system is just jam-packed with things as well. It has a Garmin navigation system. It has XM radio, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. It has a really cool feature of uh, Honda made cabin watch and cabin talk. So when you're driving, you can actually just glance down at your display and have a gander at what's going on in the back seat and also chit chat. It's super cool. The Rear view mirror is auto dimming as well, just like your side mirrors. I love that. I think it's a cute little cool touch. And then the center console here is the automatic transmission, so you have your buttons. 
you have intelligent traction management and your econ button for a little bit better driving modes that has electronic parking brake and your brake hold system. So I like that when I'm in the drive through line getting my coffee, it just holds the car in place and it doesn't roll forward. So your console on the floor is ginormous. There is so much space in here. It has a bunch of different compartments in the top and in the front next to your Blu-ray player and you can actually keep all your movies down in the front here. It's awesome. It has a uh, USB connection, 150 volt adapter, and then cup holders, an awesome wireless phone charger, and more cup holders in the back. It is super cool. Now let's take a look at the rear seating. The back seats of the Honda Odyssey is definitely the place to be. You have your Blu-ray player here. You have USB connections. There is just a bunch of cup holders, map pocketing. It's amazing back here. You have the buttons to open and close the doors. There's your own personal visor, sunshade. It's amazing. So the Odyssey is set up to either be for uh, seven or eight passengers. This center seat is removable. Well, actually for that matter, the whole second row is removable, um, but you can remove this seat, store it away. And these two seats here can become captain's chairs with a pass through, which is great if you have two car seats or you, know, you have a third kid that's bigger and they wanna get to the back seat. It's so versatile. There is over 160 60 cubic feet of passenger volume in the Odyssey. Let's take a look at the third row. Super easy to get into the third row. If you do have the center seat in there, all you have to do is just pull one paddle, push it forward, it glides easily, and then you can climb right back. There's definitely a great view of the DVD player right from the third row. And the cool thing about it has headphone jacks that are accessible if you need more um, people to listen to what you're watching. And then there are more sunshades back here. And if nobody is sitting in your center seat, you can actually recline it. And there's more cup holders and storage space. It is amazing back here. Now let's take a look at the cargo. So to reveal the luxurious cargo area, you can use the hands-free access. All you do is just kick your foot underneath and it opens right up. You have to have your key fob with you and the car has to be off and locked. And then it reveals your over 32 cubic feet of cargo space behind the third row. And then they have really easy uh, stow and go seating on the Odyssey as well. So to expand your cargo volume, all you have to do is uh, recline your third row seats and it's super, super simple. All you have to do is just pull the lever and it's a flick and they fold right away. Lovely, and then it's such a low uh, floor that you can easily get things and put them on. And then if you had something really large that you were trying to transport, like I said, you can take out that whole second row and then you have a giant area that you can store everything. And they're super easy to put up as well. All you have to do is just give it one of those in their back. And then another hands-free kick and it goes right down. Look at me go. Woo. So the Odyssey might look awesome going down the street and it's like your moving living room inside, but let's see how it feels. So let's get behind the wheel and take it for a drive. First overall impression of driving the Odyssey, it is so quiet, I can't hear it anything outside there is like hardly any road noise this is just like your living room moving down the road it is so comfortable these seats are amazingly comfortable i love this armrest the position of where the steering wheel is it's so soft the leather wrapped and everything is just like right here it's a great layout Honda Sensing is just adds to the overall amazing safety of this Odyssey. It has the full safety features, um, 
including a blind spot information system. So if anybody is in your blind spots, it gives you an indication on your uh, side here and lets you know, don't merge over. It tries to really keep it super safe. I love the adaptive uh, cruise control too. Really, it, it keeps it with the flow of traffic. If they break, you break. It's really cool. So people definitely have such a bias and a stigma over an Odyssey. Oh, I don't want an Odyssey. But this one is extremely cool. It has the cool color. It has all those awesome glossy black accents. The LEDs everywhere inside is just packed with features. If you have kids or even just people that you drive around with a lot, you have so many features here. The DVD player just really sets it off. And then the cabin watch, you can just like check everybody out back there without having to turn your head around game changer plus they have the cabin talk so even if somebody has the headphones on you can communicate with them through the that they can start listening to you. it's awesome such a great thing the honda odyssey you know it is still that honda v6 engine which gives you the 280 awesome horsepower and the auto idle, which just kicked in also really just helps you maximize your fuel economy. That and the econ system, it really does what it can to be efficient, but yet still powerful. And that was our review on the 2023 Honda Odyssey Elite in the awesome Sonic Gray Pearl color and it all can be yours for the price tag of 49,620. Well deserved though, they packed so much stuff into that, it's amazing. Uh, thank you to Herb Chambers, Honda of Seekonk for letting us take out the Odyssey today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our video. I'm Honda Laura and I'll see you next time.